today on The Real. On Girl Chat, the more useful ways to name products. <laughs> he doesn't text me back, Charger, okay? <laughs> and we're sharing our Christmas cards. Not the white bird, Lonnie yeah. and, and white, white bird. bird. And naughty or nice, we've got the list. The naughty list? What? Why? Plus, our holiday giveaway strikes again. <laughs> then, after Giovanna Depo drops in. And it's time to ante up our game. I would listen to the Latin people in the audience on the reel. Today, Jeannie. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> All right. Who's ready for some girl chat? Yes. I know I am. Always. Okay. So we recently found out some really exciting <gasps> news. Oh you my guys. God! Tell them, Tam. <laughs> the Real was nominated for an NAACP Image Award. Yes. <laughs> it's so cool. Yes. Congratulations, we did ladies. It. Congrats. Congrats. Yes. Congrats. So oh, awesome. It's in the oh, outstanding talk series category, and we are so incredibly humbled yes. and honored by this. You guys, this is so exciting. Yes. It's, it's moments like this, like we say a prayer before we come out here every yes. single day, and we just mm -hmm. were back there just saying how grateful we are to God that like, you know, we have jobs, and not just jobs, but that we feel that we are fulfilling our purpose. Yeah. And I think moments like this with this nomination and what the NAACP stands for is really, really awesome. Yes. It is. It's yes. so an honor even just to be nominated. I can't believe that like, I don't know, a little old Asian girl like me could be included. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Like that's what the awards are about. And yeah. I, I honestly, I'm so honored to be a part of a multicultural cast like this. Yes. Getting recognized, yes, thank you. <laughs> Getting recognized is one thing, but it actually, did you guys have a moment of reflection that we are doing something greater and, and, and so unique and different that I wish I saw when I was growing up. Yeah, it's it's bigger than us. Yes, yeah, we're yeah. making history, you guys. Yeah. Seriously, yes. mm -hmm. this diverse cast, it's yeah. awesome. And yeah. to be recognized for and it, to be recognized it's recognized for it. beautiful. Yeah. I cannot wait, though. I can't wait to slay the red carpet. Oh, oh my God! God. Okay, yeah. so yeah. we're gonna be coordinated. Yes. yes. I've been planning out like what <laughs> silhouette each person has to wear because everybody has to represent because we have so yes. many different unique styles, styles. shapes and sizes. And, yes. like, Why you look at shapes? No, because no. <laughs> no. Money, I did not. Just. Always got it. <laughs> no. Um, it's February the yes. 11th yes. on yes. TV One. It yes. will be um, a live program. So we are very humble. We're excited. Yes. The yes. NAACP Image Awards. Thank you so much yes. to the yes. NAACP. Yes. We are going to represent. We yes, will. so excited. Now, it's the holiday season, and the Obamas recently sent out their very last White House Christmas oh, I know. cards. Oh, oh, my oh, baby. Oh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Everyone. We are all going to miss you guys. However, some critics on social media were quick to point out that their card doesn't mention the word Christmas at all, instead opting to wish everyone a happy holidays. OK. I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I love their card, okay? Yeah, me too. And um, I also do love myself some Jesus, and I honestly never thought about this until I started doing this on my card. I just write Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever. Yeah. But it is, if I can, real talk, it's just some really hardcore 
religious people who pick up on that. And for me, my message means the same, joy and merriness to all. Yes. The interesting you thing know? about this photo, this photo was taken at the Canadian Prime Minister's state dinner, and um, Michelle Obama, first lady, is wearing Jason Wu. That's, yes, you know, so amazing. And Gosh, the beautiful. first Miami. daughters are wearing um, Naeem Khan. Yes. yes. And what happened was there was a controversy. You know I'm a news junkie. Yes. There was a controversy about the, the first daughters wearing those dresses because really? the dresses cost about $20,000 yes. a piece. So they were trying to say, oh, is that coming from taxpayer dollars? No. No, they buy yeah. their own wardrobe, but those two dresses were on loan to the yes. first daughters. Yes. And the this is the thing that I like about this picture. Teen Vogue did an, a small article about this, mm -hmm. saying that the first daughters had the last word in this because it was a clap back to people that wanted to say, oh, they shouldn't have wore those expensive dresses. And now you see that it was answered. The, they the, got their money. They were on loan, and it, it looks fabulous, <laughs> and they yes. played. Yes. So. Designers would give anything to get dresses on those girls. Yeah. Yeah. Any designer would say, oh my gosh, let me gift you this dress. Let me, you know, well, loan this dress. Look at Cariano yeah. picking apart yes. a Christmas card. I yeah. know. Well, and first of all, there are a lot of holidays. Yes. So, you know, you have Hanukkah, you Kwanzaa. have Kwanzaa, you have Christmas, you have New Year's. So yeah. I think saying, nothing's wrong with saying happy holidays to include everybody. everybody. Don't so I think that's great. Well, yes. Y'all know I'm really big on Christmas cards. Yes. We, it's a tradition in our yes. family. And I chose to put Merry Christmas on our Christmas card just because oh. it's a true reflection of <laughs> who we are Look at Ryan. as a family. <laughs> Everyone who knows us, they know our beliefs. And uh, y'all don't know. Woo. The hardest things to photograph are children and animals. <laughs> I broke a sweat trying to get that shot. How that long shot, did it take? Y'all, that took like 45 minutes. It was 10 minutes of Aiden not wanting to wear the bow tie because his dad had a necktie, so then Adam had to find a bow tie that matched Aiden's. <laughs> and then Araya, you guys, Araya was not feeling it that day. You can see her side eye She's like, uh, who are you, photographer? I don't know who you are. But there is one thing about this photo that's not very Christmassy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're little pumpkins. You see the little pumpkins they're holding? That yes. is the only way I could get them to stand still. <laughs> oh and it my works. gosh. That is and so pretty. genius. And we're matching. So Araya and I are matching. I love, I you can't love see the my tool shirt. with the plaid. You notice that? So, Thank oh, you, Jeannie. So and the rain boots. I love it. Do you like your little rain boots? I, I, like I, I like it. I like it too. Thank you. I like it. But I love it. I thought it turned out great. I love it. You guys are going to have to help me out the day I have children. It's going to need all of you guys on <laughs> set. Maybe I'm going to go so over the top. If people thought that the Vogue September issue was a big deal, <laughs> that is going to be my Christmas card ah, with my family. It's all right. It's going to be excellent. Yes. This is the first year I've ever done a Christmas card. Because I don't think... Lonnie, do you do, Christ do, you do the Christmas cards? I did. Oh, oh, look at that. That, that is, is my perfect. first one. So we did Merry Christmas from the Houghtons. Oh, and the so that's my first one ever. The that's my favorite. One. It's beautiful. Yes. Out of all of awesome. Adrian's wedding pic wedding pictures, that's my favorite. Well, mine's was very simple because I'm single. Yes. Um, I never did it before when I was single. I know, and I was like, you know what? You I'm should. Sad. Look at mine. It's like oh, I, I took mine with the bird. I love it. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Lonnie and the white bird? <laughs> Lonnie and the white bird. I had to have something in, so I... And the bird isn't even facing. The bird is... is where's the this bird? That's perfect. the bird right You're there. You're such a comedian. I Your Christmas it. card says... Lonnie and, and white, white bird. bird. Yeah, not the white bird. Lonnie and, and white, white bird. bird. And the, yeah. and the yeah, white bird wasn't even star. looking, Lonnie. I love it. Happy I love it. holidays, I love holidays. That, though. I think singles <laughs> should also do Christmas cards. I now yeah. looking back, I, I I'm like, why wasn't I doing Christmas yeah. cards all along? Even I if know. it was just me. I, I did know. one with my dog, Milano. You, I'm yeah. sorry, what? Aww. I did one with my dog when I was single. Really? What? what? <laughs> People don't do that? I see that. They do that all the time. You're supposed to do Christmas pictures in the best way that you show you're comfortable. So yeah. you can be with your family. Yeah, Milano. Milano has passed. Yeah, Milano has passed. Yeah, Milano has passed. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, now you have dog. a yeah. Christmas memory with yeah. Milano. I do. And yeah. I have my white birds. Yes. So. There we go. I think, guys, I, I do it all the time. How do you do your Christmas cards? Do you send them out to get done? 
Uh, yes, I use tiny prints. Okay, you guys, I did it on Vistaprint online. I just yes. took my wedding picture, uploaded it, yeah. and I picked the font yeah. and yeah. changed the words. So easy. And they sent it to me. It was super, like, Good affordable, price. great price. You can pick glossy Y'all doing matte. a hard copy? I'm just sending mine out on email. Me That's... Too. Oh, no! Oh, I got yeah. the hard copy. I'm sending out the hard copy only because I think people, one, wanted a thank you. I like to put it up. Wedding. And so they could put them on a mantle. Yeah, no, I'm like posting mine on Instagram and tagging you if you're my friend in it. Yeah. That's how you're getting that's, it. Well, all right. It. Welcome to okay. 2016, people. Yes. <laughs> well, the holidays can be a stressful time, especially when it comes to shopping. However, one store claims it can actually cure your relationship stress is Ikea. That's what? right. The furniture store is giving a whole new meaning to retail therapy. Uh -huh. Ikea's new marketing campaign takes everyday household items and renames them to solve the various dilemmas life hands, hands you. For example, say you have a significant other who keeps you up at night with their snoring. Maybe you should look into buying their My Partner Snores daybed. That's, That's so funny. funny. That's That's creative. Creative. That's cute. Right? That is very a cute creative. Name. That's or cute. if someone in your household likes to use the bathroom with the door wide open, you <laughs> may want to buy the he doesn't close the door scented candle. <laughs> Ill. And if you overdid it at IKEA's cafe, you will want to order the I ate too many Swedish meatballs bicycle. That's, That's funny. funny. Oh, That's I actually think funny. this is very funny, funny. That's super funny. and creative, yeah. and it makes light of sometimes relationship yes, issues. Yes, but also, have you seen the names of those products at Ikea? Yeah. You can never pronounce oh, them. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, and that is true. Ha, 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 Swedish. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's something, it always has two of those dots on the top. Yes, over What's the What's that called? I don't know. Something. The strong, the, the umlaut. The umlaut? Oh my god. I wow. I don't even know if I'm not right. Yes. Two yes. yes. Yeah. Is that Man, I, I call them two dots. That's yeah. Two dots. Yeah, but I think they top. should also name the products, like, if they kept it real, real. Yes. How long they're going to freaking take you to put it together. Oh. That is no. a good point. Like, <laughs> no, for real. That is the, true. the product should be called 20 minutes. Yeah, or the day that should be minutes. like, girl, don't even try it. Or this one might cause you a divorce. Or you might need a man to help you with this. Yes. Or you need, need, need a hammer with this one, yes. okay? Yeah. Or but put I it like... back down, because you got nails. You ain't going to fix this. <laughs> I like my own, my own titles, like, um, don't touch my liquor cabinet. I like that one. Well, I like that. I like the Idris Elba easy chair, because I can sit on it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I like that. I like that. Keep going. What else you got? Yeah, yes. another one. <laughs> he doesn't text me back, charger, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is That's so a good one. funny. Dating three times at once, charger, so. <laughs> Multiple. You get multiple. Yes. Wait, keep it going, yes. bro, because you're gonna you're about to get yourself an IKEA I don't job. Get in trouble. Oh, get shoot. In trouble. Yes. A photo series called Black Mirror has been going viral since it was released last week. Check out these stunning photos. Oh, I love so that awesome. beautiful. An African American model, Dita Howard, said she was tired of seeing so few fashion campaigns showcasing models of color and wanted to do something about it. She released a series of photos recreating famous ad campaigns like the ones by Calvin Klein, Guess, and Victoria's Secret. Mm -hmm. We just had to bring her on to talk about this. Come on out, Dita. <laughs> Stunning. Yes. Thanks. So beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my Thanks. gosh. Well, we are so excited to have you. We wanted to know what was the moment for you that inspired you to do the Black Mirror campaign? You know, I remember I was at a supermarket mm -hmm. and I was going through these magazines and I was looking for inspiration because I'm a fashion blogger as well. Mm -hmm. And I realized, like, holy crap, there's not a lot of inspiration, girls, like girls that represent yeah. me in these magazines. Mm -hmm. So I told Rafael de Croto, who is my boyfriend, I was like, we have to do something about this. Yeah. And he was like, you're right. So that's how we came up with the idea. Before that, I would get denied so many times by agencies. Why? Just for being dark skinned, I, basically. They would tell me we have, you know, we really love you. You are, you're extremely beautiful, you're gorgeous. But we have two or three black girls 
And I felt, I felt like it was insane that you have just one or two black girls that in represent a whole in a whole agency that represent everybody. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind yeah. of insane. So Raphael and I came out with this idea. What if you show the world that it's not just about one race? Right. It's about diversity. Yes. yes. I love that. Yeah. Yes. What do you hope people take away from this campaign? You know, I just hope people see this as a positive thing. I'm not trying to bring anybody down. I'm a very positive person. I'm trying to send out a positive message out there that I was just really sick of seeing blacks getting killed on TV. I was sick of seeing this person getting this and the blacks attacking the police. I just want to do something really wow. pos positive. Yeah. And I'm sick of complaining. I don't want to complain that you yeah. have to hire me every single day. I don't want to complain. I just. I can do cool stuff, and I just want to get a job like many women out there are doing yes. the same thing. I want girls to look at this and see that if those brands doesn't want you, girl, you should do your own thing. That's wow. right. That is, I heard that. Take it from. I love that. I'm yes. originally from Liberia. Liberia, oh, yes. I love your accent. I love your yes. accent. It's beautiful. beautiful. It is beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much for sharing with us, Frida. <laughs> now, recently, we launched The Real Social Takeover, and we have been blown away by your responses. <laughs> Yes. However, you guys, I still haven't gone yet. I know. And everyone has been asking wait. me who I'm going to pick. And I feel so much pressure, but I'm really excited about it. And um, I really wanted to pick someone who shared the same passions and values as I do. Uh, someone who loves fashion, someone who loves love, and someone who loves their family. And guess what, you guys? I finally found her. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Her name is Tessa Colong, and she is a 31-year-old mother of two from Belleville, New Jersey. Coast. East Coast. She watches us on Fox 5, and you guys, she sent this video. Check it out. Hey, Adrian. My name is Tessa, and this is my five-year-old daughter. Savannah. And Savannah would like to ask you something. Can you please, please, please pick my mom for the Instagram takeover? We have a lot in common, right, Savannah? We have a Paris theme in our living room. We have the tuffeted chairs. We have um, rose gold in different parts of our home. Our tree this year is decorated in rose gold and in gold. All right, girls, so hopefully you pick me and can't wait to see what you do to my Instagram. Love you. Oh, so cute. First of all, shout out to Savannah. Yes. Like, how cute was that little girl? Yes, yeah, adorable. adorable. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, but they also have a French bulldog named Bloomer. Yes, he's even French. You get it? You get it? There's like a... Yeah. There's a, a whole yeah. Parisian, there's a Parisian yeah. theme going yeah. on. Yes. So, Tessa girl, I am going to do you proud. I promise tomorrow, Friday, December 16th, Yay! I am taking over your Instagram page. Oh! I'm so because I know your pictures are going to be so glossy and yes. gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I don't know if many people know this, but Adrienne happens to love herself some photography. I would say yes. she's a photographer on the side. For yeah. sure. Yes. So she takes a lot of her own pictures, and you have such a great eye. So what do you think thank you're going to fill you. Tessa's pictures with? Okay, I'm going to put, like, some exclusive behind-the-scenes videos of us here. Cool. I think I might even throw her an exclusive um, never-seen-before wedding photos. Nice. Some behind-the-scenes stuff that, yeah, yeah, I was ODing on my page, so now I get to put it on yours. <laughs> They're like, girl, we've seen enough of it on your page, so I'll give you some exclusives. <laughs> and also, you guys, I'm really excited because tomorrow is a really special day for me and my husband, Israel. We're actually going to be performing on the show together. Yay! So, um, yeah, it'll be fun to see, like, the sound check and all that kind of behind-the-scenes footage. And I can't wait, you guys, to share it with you and Tessa and all of our fans. So you can follow everything using the hashtag TheRealSocialTakeover. Oh. Winter is kicking into full gear, and with those frigid forecasts also comes those seasonal beauty setbacks. Now, if you're struggling with the common problems we all face this time of year, you're in luck. We've got the beauty routine solutions you need straight from someone who knows the difference between good and bad, for goodness sake. <laughs> this is naughty or nice. <laughs> Guys! Did you hear? Guys! Sam started a special call in hotline. No way. Traveling around the world taught him a thing or two about skin and hair care. Oh. So he's sharing his beauty tips and tricks for one and all. Yeah. Well, that's unexpected. <laughs> I know. But fantastic. I was just thinking about how hard winter is on my hair. You know, yeah. it gets so dry and brittle. I think I'll check with Santa to make sure my solution is on the nice list. Yes. Yes. 
It's Santa? Shut up! Yes! Hi, Santa. It's Tamira. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course you already knew that. Well, I'll get to it then. When my hair gets dry, I should apply hair masks several times a week, right? That'll get me on the nice list? Uh huh, yeah. Hold up. The naughty list? What? Why? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do <gasps> uh -huh. you know what, Santa? That is a great point. Thanks, Santa. Bye. What, wait. Oh, what my God. Say? What did you say? What did you say? Santa says that applying a hair treatment more than once a week will weigh down your hair. So, instead, use a mask as your daily conditioner, oh. but wash it out after two minutes. That way, you get the hydration from the stronger conditioner without the residue and added weight. That is He's genius. smart. Wow, okay. Man, that Santa knows everything. Yep. That's crazy. Can it be my turn? Yes, there Thank you go. You. Thank you so much, okay. <laughs> Hello? Santa, you there? <laughs> Guys, it's really him. Yes. Santa, Santa, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Shh, shh. Guys, okay, one of my least favorite things, Santa, about winter is how dry and brittle my nails get. Santa, they're always chipping and breaking, but if I paint them frequently, that's gonna strengthen them, right? Because that's a nice list solution if I've ever heard one and came up with it myself. <laughs> but what? You sure? <laughs> okay, okay, Santa. No, I'm listening to you. That sounds like a good idea. Anything you say, Santa. Okay. What's the verdict? Weird. Why are you looking okay. like that? Yeah. Well, he makes a lot of sense, but he totally debunked my myth. Painting your nails helps keep them from chipping, but it actually doesn't solve them in the long term. Rub cuticle oil into oh. the nail beds once a week so that they grow in strong and stay that way. Oh. oh yes, gosh. Santa knows what's up. Healthy cuticle, healthy nails. Yes, and he also emphasized the importance of applying lotion every time you wash your hands. Santa! Oh! Mars! That was good. See? Good to I know. Think about that. Good Santa to should know. think about going into the beauty industry if he ever tries to retire. I mean, he knows his stuff. I yeah. think he, he does. Just give out more than toys. But seriously, you all have been really, really naughty. So um, I'm going to show you how it's done. Oh, psh. Watch this. Hold on. What's up, Santa Boo? Uh huh. <laughs> You can't talk to Santa like Everything in LA gets really, really cold and I take long, hot showers. <laughs> so please tell me I'm on the nice list if you know what's good for you, Santa. You can't talk to him like huh? that. Oh, come on! What? Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, <laughs> I gotta go, bye. Okay, look. Wait, what happened? Santa said <laughs> that every 15 minutes, you know, that you put on hot water, it'll yeah. do damage to the layer of your skin. And, you know, that, and that layer of skin holds in the moisture. So long, hot showers dry you out even more no in the way. winter time, you know? Mm -hmm. So instead, take a short, hot shower and turn down the temperature or turn down the temperature. Plus, he says you should always moisturize. That's what I do, baby. Put that on me. Ah, you get out that shower so you don't be itching. Smart. <laughs> Lana, you can't <laughs> flirt with Santa. I know. You can't flirt with a hot single, oh, well, oh. hot single, but it's yeah. Okay, we got time for one last try, you guys. All right. You ready? Yeah. Get it, Adrian. <laughs> that rotary. Santa? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hola, hola. Okay, okay. I get the worst chapped lips during the winter, but I apply my favorite cherry lip balm, and I'm good to go. Come on now. How nice is that? Bah humbug! <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, okay, fine. Got it. Thank you, Santa. Okay, what happened? What happened? You guys, I never would have thought this. So, fragrance actually is the number one skin allergen. Did you guys know this? Mm. Santa knows everything. He said to avoid scented lip balm, and instead, you should use one that's gooey, not waxy, so the ingredients will penetrate your lips like a petroleum jelly. Okay. He also said he recommends exfoliating to remove the dead skin, like a simple scrub will do the trick. Oh! That's smart. That's right, man. I think that's Santa right. gives yeah. very good... <gasps> Oh my goodness, that is the best news ever. Thank you so much, Santa. <gasps> you guys! What happened? What happened? What happened? Okay, Santa said that since we know what to do now and we shared these tips with everyone. Oh, he's such a good guy. He moved us all to the nice list. Yes!
Our next guest is making his motion picture debut, playing Denzel Washington and Viola Davis son in the Critics' Choice nominated film Fences, and today he's making his daytime TV debut right here on The Real. Please welcome Javon Adepo. Christmas is coming early for you because mm -hmm. Fences, the movie, is getting so much buzz. Yes. And it's opening on Christmas Day. You play Corey um, in the movie, uh, which you, Denzel Washington is your dad. Mm -hmm. You had to audition with Denzel. Right. An actual audition. Actual audition. Wow. Were you nervous? What I was happened? Incredibly nervous. I remember it like it was yesterday. The whole thing was like a movie. It's like it was raining. We were at Paramount Studios, and I got to the wow. office where they were casting. And I freaked out because it was the first time I heard his voice, you know, outside of movies and television. Uh -huh. He was right across the wall, and I, I had a panic attack. So I had to walk wow. out of the room. Oh, yeah. And the casting director came out. She was like, you okay, Javon? I was like, yeah, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> Perhaps you can give me some water or something, you know. Yeah. I'll be all right. And I made this idea in my head that when I met him, I was going to be tough and show him I'm not scared of him. And I was like, yeah, I could do this. I'm going to get this job. And he opens the door, and I look at him. He's like, Jovan? I was like, damn, to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he was, he was brilliant. He was brilliant, and he was a completely kind man, and it was an awesome experience. That oh, wow. That is cool. Congratulations. Story. Now, the rest of the cast had actually already done the Broadway show together, so you were like the new kid on the block. What yeah. was that like? It was terrifying. <laughs> you know, because the first day we got to Pittsburgh, it was like a family reunion for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody had, like, their inside jokes and, you know, their secret handshakes, and I'm sitting in the corner, like, hoping that they like me. I'm just, like, looking like some weirdo, Aww. and they're like, who's that new kid? <laughs> But after, like, the first couple of days, you know, Denzel would give me, like, a hard time just joking around. Yeah. But after mm -hmm. the first couple of days, you know, it was cool. And everybody was totally warm. And, you know, I think it was Steven Henderson who plays Bono in the film. He was the one that was like, you can relax, baby. You got the job. Yeah. You all right? <laughs> you all right? It's time for the game where you've got nothing to lose. And you can win some quick, cold, hard cash. Yes. All you got to do is bet on us. Get ready, folks. It's time to Annie up. <laughs> adorable outfit. Tell our audience how to play. Why, thank you, Jeannie Beans. Here's the deal. I'm going to ask our beautiful host up there a question about pop culture. Now, every answer is a number. If you're chosen to be a contestant, your job is to tell me whether you think the real answer is higher, lower, or spot on with the host. Now, in today's game, if you're right, you'll get $100 in cash money. Is that easy? So who's ready to ante up? Who? Who? Where you from? Fontana, California. All right, Fontana! <laughs> All right, let's win you some money. Okay, Tamara, yeah. you're okay. up first. All right. This is your question, sweetie. Shakira is the most liked musician on Facebook with how many likes? I'm gonna say 88 million. Okay, oh, Sierra, you just heard Tam's answer. So just mm. so you know, we do not show the questions to the host. So they may know it, they may not know it, they may be close, right. they may not. She might be guessing. So it's time to ante up. For $100, do you think the real answer is higher, lower, or spot on? Audience, what do you think? What would you say? Oh. 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 you guys. What do you think? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say higher, I'm gonna say higher. She says higher, okay. Let's find out. What is the real answer? You're right! Higher, higher, higher. I was four million. 489,909 likes. Yes. Girl, you just won yourself a hundred bucks, Sierra. Good job, honey. Congratulations. See, Tamara helped you out. All right. All right. Our next contestant. Next contestant. Who wants to play next? Girl, yes, you're looking good. Yes, where you from? La 
Los Angeles. Los Angeles! Okay, our next question is for our very own selfie queen, Adrian. In 2015, Dwayne The Rock Johnson set a Guinness yeah. Book of World Records by taking this many selfies with fans in three minutes. How many selfies did he take? Three He's minutes. my boyfriend, Adrian. How you have to get this get? right. I know how many can I get in three minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes. Three minutes is a long time. A selfie but you gotta every move two people seconds. Too. A minute is six. Look at it. She's trying. Sixty Figure seconds. It out. That's half. That's thirty seconds. Thirty Divide times by three, three is ninety. I'm gonna say ninety. 90 selfies in three minutes. Now, Erica, do you think she is higher, lower, or spot on? Just Audience, what do you think? Is it higher? 30, 30 yeah. times. But then you have to get their phone in 90. What do you think? Adrian, I love you, and I know you're the selfie queen, but I think it's higher. Okay. Higher. Okay. Let's find out the real higher. answer. He's a big That's dude. A... Yes! Yeah. Yeah. with fans. Go, Dwayne, with your fine self. So, yeah. girl, Erica, you want a hundred bucks. Good yeah. job.